May the Lord give you peace, brothers and sisters. October 11th is the feast of Pope John the 23rd. Here are five things to know more about Saint Pope John the 23rd. Although a few people have had a great impact on 20th century as Saint Pope John the 23rd, he always avoided the limelight as much as possible. One of the writers on the life of Saint Pope John the 23rd says his ordinariness was one of his most remarkable qualities. Saint Pope John the 23rd was born as the first born son of a farming family in Sote il Monte in Bergamo near northern Italy. Angelo Giuseppe Roncalli was his baptismal name. He was always proud of his down to earth roots. In Bergamo's Diocesan Seminary, as he was pursuing to be a priest, he also joined the secular Franciscan order. In 1904, Angelo Giusperoncalli was ordained to the order of priesthood, after which he returned to Rome, where he served as his bishop's secretary, church history professor in a seminary, as well as he managed the diocesan newsletter as the publisher. His service as a stretcher bearer for the Italian army during the World War I gave him a first-hand knowledge of war. In 1925, he became a papal diplomat serving first in Bulgaria, then in Turkey, and finally in France. During the World War II, he became well acquainted with the Orthodox Church leaders. With the help of Germany's ambassador to Turkey, Archbishop Roncalli helped save an estimated 24,000 Jewish people. Named a cardinal and appointed as patriarch in Venice, Angelo Giuseppe Roncalli was finally a resident bishop. Just one month into his 78th birthday of life, he was elected as the Pope. Having been elected, he chose the name of John after his father, as well as one of the two patron saints of Rome's cathedral, St. John the Lateran. He came to be known as Pope John the 23rd. Pope John took his work very seriously, but not himself. His wit became well known. As Pope, he came out of the walls of Vatican to embrace the leaders of various countries, the leaders of various religions across the world. Simple and active, Pope John XXIII carried out the Christian duties of corporal and spiritual works of mercy, visiting the imprisoned, the sick, welcoming those of every nation and faith, bestowing on all his tender fatherly love. Pope John is a man of the people. In stark contrast to his predecessors, Pope John XXIII urged the church to embrace the modernity and the secular world instead of placing itself always in constant opposition to it. Pope John the 23rd in this way brought new life into the church. John outside the walls because he was the first pope to leave the confines of the Vatican to visit the prisons and the hospital. Pope John the 23rd has given us some remarkable encyclicals that speak even today so much of meaning relevance to us. His most famous encyclicals were mother and teacher and peace on earth. Pope John XXIII is also well known for his deep committed efforts in order to resolve the Cuban Missile Crisis. Pope John XXIII enlarged the membership of the College of the Cardinals, making it as international as possible. 
Pope John the 23rd also brought in so much of extensive renewal in the church always radiating as one who had so much of peace from the Lord and one who trusted always in the Lord. He convoked the Second Vatican Council in the year 1962 to the shock and surprise of many. At his address, at the opening of the council, he criticized the prophets of doom who in these modern times see nothing but ruin. Pope John XXIII said the right tone for the Second Vatican Council when he said, the church has always opposed errors. Nowadays, however, the spouse of Christ prefers to make use of the medicine of mercy rather than that of severity. Pope John's one-liners are legendary. How many work at the Vatican? A reporter asked Pope John the 23rd. He said, Oh, no more than half of them, he said with a wink. At another time, a courier official rushed to the office of Pope John the 23rd and said, we cannot begin the Second Vatican Council by 1963. Pope John then said, okay, fine then, we shall begin in 1962. And they indeed did. The Second Vatican Council began in the year 1962. On another occasion, Pope John XXIII went to visit a local hospital run by the Sisters of the Holy Spirit. All in a flutter, the sister in charge of the hospital rushed to the Pope and introduced herself, Most Holy Father, I am the superior of the Holy Spirit. Pope John XXIII looked at her and said, Oh, you must be very lucky. I am just the vicar of Christ. Pope John the 23rd had a good sense of humor and who could not love a Pope who had a sense of humor? On his deathbed, Pope John the 23rd said, it is not that the gospel has changed, it is that we have begun to understand it better. Those who have lived as long as I have were enabled to compare different cultures and traditions and know that the moment has come to discern the signs of times, to seize the opportunity and to look far ahead. Good Pope John died on June 3rd, 1963. Saint Pope John II beatified him in 2000 and Pope Francis canonized him in 2014. Pope John XXIII had an extraordinary love for the church. All that he wanted to do was to make the church relevant and meaningful to the times. His prophetic intuition ardent commitment for the renewal in the church led him to convoke the Second Vatican Council. The life of Saint Pope John XXIII is a lesson in how obedience and trust in the Lord can lead to experience of interior peace that is naturally recognized by and shared with others. Brothers and sisters, a very happy feast of Saint Pope John the 23rd and let's all now receive the blessing the apostolic blessing from the Pope Saint John the 23rd Et benedictio Dei omnipotentis patris et fili et spiritus sancti descendat super vos et mamia semper